missing, the second half of what was missing under the Obama administration is the idea, not the idea, the avowed policy platform that ideology is irrelevant, that terrorism is the result of poverty or disenfranchisement. Remember, at the beginning of the Obama administration, I think it was at uh, CSIS, uh, John Brennan, who had become the president's CIA director, said, um, terrorism is the result of upstream factors. It's the result of poverty and lack of ed education. If that were true, Peter, half of India would be terrorists. Half of China would be terrorists, and they're not. As a result of that flawed analysis, the Obama administration defaulted to this concept of when we find the really bad guys, we just kill them and we'll win. It's, it's whack-a-mole. It was exquisite whack-a-mole is a phrase I used in defeating jihad. People hear when you say, I wonder if white people are irredeemable, they hear all white people. And they hear white people as individuals as opposed to whiteness as an identity that is clung to. So that when I go into the second paragraph where I'm like, well, what if we took this identity apart? those people would not, would not sort of have the, a different history or body, right? But it would be a different relationship to identity that I think would potentially have, um, as a consequence, um, a more humane relationship to each other. But if you make a habit of going to that coffee shop, you eventually become friends. Commerce creates friendship. It's the same way that church creates friendship. A church does, or a, um, a, a college or high school class, or whatever. People get together. They're not hurting each other. They're not forcing each other to do things. They're allowed to say no. And out of that comes what the, the, the French in the 18th century called, they, they called it du commerce, sweet commerce. And that's right. Whereas the coercion that's necessary for most activities of the state, well, actually all, that's the nasty stuff.